Hi quilters, today's show is all about putting together the quilt top for this AQS and Accu Quilt Along series. That's right, stay tuned for tips and tricks to easily get it done. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilt's creativity specialist. Welcome to part three of the Go Scrappy Star Log Cabin Quilt AQS AccuQuilt Along series. Today, we're gonna show you how to create the quilt tops. That's right. Plus, we'll have live question and answer all throughout the show with AccuQuilt's customer service representative, Miss Emily Kerr, as our in-studio moderator. She is, she's here to answer all the questions. Yes. So be sure to ask questions that you have in the comments section from wherever you stream our show, and Emily's gonna relay them to us. How are you, Miss Emily? That's right. I'm doing great, doing great. You ready for this? I'm so ready for this. I'm yeah. so excited to see all the progress, and it's just coming along so well. It is. I know. Well, quilters, in case you missed it, Last week we showed you how to chain piece and sew these blocks together. Was that not the best? It, I love sewing these blocks. I'm already planning my next log cabin project yeah, in my quilting head. You can just sew easy, there's no pressure. Just so long as you sew them right, we can just, just do that. Relaxing, yeah. Yep. So quilters, if you haven't started yet, it is not too late to start. Absolutely okay? not. So um, on March 22nd, we had the introduction for this Quilt Along series where Erica crashed my AccuQuilt Live and we talked about the introduction to the pattern. Right. Okay. It's a free downloadable pattern at AccuQuilt.com. In part two, we went over how to cut your fabric for the block using the Go Log Cabin Die. We talked about if you're going to use the Go One and a Half right, Strip right. Die and the, how to use traditional rotary cutting. Plus, we gave you some really great tips for organizing the pieces right. and some possible variations. And we've seen lots of great pictures. So many. Of people's so many. different organization yep. processes. Now, it's beneficial for you to watch these shows in order if you're just getting started with the Go Scrappy Star Lord Cabin Quilt. Now, before... Be sure you check those out. We save all of our videos. They all live on AccuQuilt's video gallery, on our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. Yep, they're great. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we wanna jump in and show you how the rows for the center part of our quilt are gonna go together. Because how you lay these out, laying right. them out correctly, is how you get that secondary design that looks like that sawtooth star in the middle of your quilt. Right. So I've got two rows. I get, I sewed my top row and my bottom row. Yes. I've got my two middle rows. So that's what I'm going to go work on right now. Okay. And just a reminder that Eric and I are both cutting our projects using the Go Log Cabin Die by Leslie Main. Erica, of course, is following the pattern because she's a good child. And she is making 11 inch finished blocks. And she's not using all the pieces because on the Log Cabin Die, you can, it cuts up to 12 inch blocks. But I've decided to use the 12 inch version and I'm making additional blocks. So my quilt is gonna be larger when I'm done. And my project will have a total of 24 blocks, all right? So we're gonna let Erica lay out her rows and talk about it. And then she's gonna take these down to sew them and then I'm gonna lay out my rows. So while I'm doing this, Emily, do we have any questions yet? Just you know, not so far. I think we're just all really excited to see how you're laying out your gorgeous blocks there. Oh, well, I'm working beautiful. on it. So we're super excited to start sewing these together. But before we get started and go any further, we want you to see some of those great tools that we've got for you. So you'll see that Pam over here is all set up. She's got her wool pressing mat, which we both have kept right by our sides while we've yes. been making this project. Right. And a little iron. Right, and while Erica talks, because I have 24 blocks and I've only made 16 so, so far. So she's still so sewing. I'm just sewing blocks. I'm just sewing blocks. And remember, you want to lay one out and then just, we do two blocks at a time. Right, right. And just press it away. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll focus and Erica again. used, um, I'm using Island Batiks, and I had half yard cuts that... I had already in my stash, mm -hmm. but Erica is using yardage from our good friend Corey Yoder's line, 
from Moda. What's it called, Erica? Cozy you... Up. It's cozy called Cozy up. up. It's one of my all time, which is hard to, I mean, it's hard to say, pick one of hers to be a fab favorite, but I really right. love this fabric line of hers. Well, and it was really fun because we went together. We did. And said, yeah, this looks good and this doesn't look good, but so. Picked. Okay, so look at how fun Erica's okay. socks are. So let me stand back. So great. And, and if you're looking, if you're putting something up on the design wall and you're not sure if you like how it looks, stand back or yeah. take a picture of it and then look at the picture of it on your phone because it's gonna look different to you sometimes. Right. it is. So what do you think? Do I need to rearrange anything or can oh, I pin like these row colors. together with colors? Yeah, so Erica, see that um, third row, you have two yellows at the top. Two yellows at the top. I didn't think I wanted it that way either. Right. So let's switch. So you wanna point where the two yellows try. are? See that she has the two yellows so to, there. Right here, I've got two yellows and that's kind of taking away from my scrappy feel. Sure. So if I take this one away and flip this one up, well, that's gonna give me two greens right next to each other. Yeah, already. So I'm not, already I'm not a fan of that. So. I'm and it might be, the, Erica, that when you're done, you can just go back and put the two yellows. There's an orange one there on the left. Second row farthest to the left. See, yeah. But when I turn it, oh, I'm gonna have it. the green again. Do you wanna talk about that, Erica, because... Oh, here, how is. about doing this? No? There. Oh. There you go. Oh, there it so is. So keep in mind, Erica's doing 11 inch blocks, so it matters because you end on solids, right? The background. Right, mm -hmm. right. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, so I think, I'm gonna stand back. Actually, I'm looking at it in the monitor. I think this looks good. I think Ooh, I like that, that it better. looks, yeah, it makes all the difference. Isn't that funny? That's beautiful. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm gonna. Well, it kind gonna... of gives it that little sawtooth star. Right. Right. So you'll see it more when I get my blocks sewn together. So I'm gonna pin both rows together right now yep. so that you can take over the design wall. Yes. And so that I and won't get confused. We recommend getting a little design wall. I found this at a craft store on sale 50% off. Oh wow. So it was like 20 bucks. That's you know, it's so it really makes helpful. a difference. It really does. I have one just like this at home. So do I. And I, now I'm thinking I need two. Yeah, it has grommets across the top here. I can talk while you do this. Okay. Um, so this is from Fonz and Porter. This is flannel and then it has grommets across the top. So oh. Kenyon um, hung that from fish hook. Because he's tall. Because he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at home, I have like over the um, door clips that oh. you would use like for um, shoe racks and stuff. Oh, and yeah. So mine hang over the door and they hang in that grommet. I have those. Oh, now I'm not going to think of it. Those you know, like little command strips maybe? Yes, I have oh. those command strip hooks. That's yeah. what I've got on those mine. Those are awesome. There you go. All right, so Erica's going to pin. All right, do you want to take my top row down? and? Yes, I will. Um, I was seeing if er any Emily had any questions. Oh, that's Looks a like good. yes, we do have some yeah, that I'll are coming in. I'll sit and answer in. questions while Erica pins her last two. Perfect. So Sheila is curious. Um, would like to know um, how to press the blocks in the rows when sewing together. So we're going to press them in opposite directions. So we're going to sew a whole row together. In Erica's case, there's four blocks. And then we're going to press one one direction and one the other direction. And that way those rows are going to nest. And I actually stopped and thought about this last... For a hot minute. For a hot minute. And have mine pressed. I sat and going, okay, <laughs> left, right, left, right. Yeah. So this row is all pressed going this way. Mm -hmm. This row is pressed... No, wait, I said that backwards. Well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> so figure it's it supposed out to all go that way. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. So this row's going that way. So this way, that way, this way, that way. Perfect. Okay. Push so, me, pull you. Right. So I am going to, because I have more blocks, I'm going to follow uh, very similarly what's behind Emily. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. So that one's kind of you can just set that bigger down. blocks. Okay. All right. They're gorgeous too. Isn't they that kind of so remind fun? Me, they remind me of the color scheme that you've got going, Pam, too, with the I, those well, I kind batiks. of, I kind of wanted it to be like that because yeah. I loved it a lot. It's gorgeous. Okay. 
And this one goes here. Okay. And Miss Deb is also wondering, um, you know, since you since y'all were building two blocks at a time versus chain piecing, can you either one of you kind of speak a little bit to that? And um, oh yeah yeah yeah. Here I'll show you in just a second. Here, that worked actually. I, for me, that worked really well. Okay, I'm done yeah. getting up. I think for the Are moment. I'm gonna take my minute? I'm gonna take my shoe off. Oh, good girl. oh look at this. Okay, I gotta see behind you. I scoot over. <laughs> no, you're okay. You're okay. Okay, so here I want to talk about this because just like Erica's, mine are going to end here on the, the two whites are going to be together. I'm looking over there. Right. Yep. Because you've added, if you're making extra block, Pam's actually adding a row, right. one to the top and one to the bottom of the right. pattern pattern. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's not oh, the top. Oh, see, that's really the, good information. Yeah, to it was folded. Okay, <laughs> so Brock, I'm to the rescue. Thank you, Brock. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start from the bottom. Bottom-ish. Okay, she doesn't sound happy about that. Well, no, 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 it's okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this, Emily. We okay. can do this, Pam. We got it. Okay, so here's the bottom. So we got to do it upside down. Yep. Oh, upside down. Right. Okay. So then, that so it kind of has like this diagonal with the with the the white. Right. So I so think you do right the, here. So you'd flip. Yep. Perfect. Yep. And then which way does this go? That one's gonna go this. It's gonna um, the colors are gonna be and um, flip it 90 degrees to the right. Okay, if I was at home doing this by myself, I'd it's just be... It's going to be like a try. Perfect. Yep, you had it right there. I'd be talking to myself, quilters, would you? And oh, totally. And then it's going to mirror on the last one the same way that that, the right-hand side. Did. Yep, perfect. Like this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, so Emily, let's do the next row. Gorgeous. Okay. I love this. Okay. There's no pattern for this one, and when we're done with this whole experience, look how pretty it looks. Um, look really this, pretty. I will write a pattern and we will have it on the website. <laughs> okay, so Emily, what's this one? So the um, white is going to be in the bottom left. Like this? Yes. Okay. Um, and then the white is going to be on the top, uh, top left for the next one. Top left, really? Well, if I'm, if I'm. Okay, no, I trust you. If I I'm flipping you. these, yeah, if I'm reading it right. And then similar with that row below it, it's going to also do kind of that big triangle um, with the white. So it's gonna be that opposite. So we're gonna have the white in the right hand top corner. Okay. Is that looking, yep, yep. And okay. then we're gonna do the, and then it's gonna, the right side is gonna mirror the left, just like we did, yep. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's now, fun. isn't it so fun? So just like Erica, I'm going to make sure that my center pieces don't, aren't the same fabric. Or right, hold right. on. Because you want to make sure that they're doing this. So this quilters is why you have a design wall. Yes. Right? And if you, if you don't, if I've you don't, been known it's okay. to I've been laying it on the hardwood floor in the dining room. The floor, right. the right. bed, the kitchen island, the... Okay. But the problem with the floor is that the dog or the cat is going to come sit in the middle of it and stare at you. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to address the issue before I pull those down, Erica. Hold on one second. So uh, Quilters asked when I said I was, we build two blocks at a time, mm -hmm. what does that mean? Well, let me show you. Zippy bags. Okay. <laughs> Greg, can you get right here? High tech know? organization at its good? finest. Okay, so I've laid out... Two blocks, hold please. Let me press this. Okay. There's Emmett sewing with us. Mr. Emmett, Wednesday he's so we helpful. Sew. And Wednesdays we sew. Okay. So I started with piece one and then piece two and piece three. And we just did two of each piece. Okay. Then what comes after three? I love this because I can count to 12. <laughs> okay. And we've never been so proud. We've never been so proud. It's the math I can do. So this is shape 
four, and you're gonna need a, a background, which is the same. Some of you are making fabulous backgrounds that are different colors. Oh, yes. Holy smokes. So like scrappy, low volumes. Oh, so yeah. Different whites and creams mixed together, yep. and it's mm -hmm. yummy. Yep. So now look, I want my all my blocks to be scrappy. So I need to make sure that I don't have either one of these fabrics in either block, okay? So that's shape four. And I'm really careful about only doing one bag at a time because holy smokes, the last thing you need is to <laughs> get it all messed up, okay? Yeah, while you're sewing, can I fix the second row really quick? I need to flip yes. two yes. real quick while you guys yes. are doing that. Did you tell me wrong? I did, I was looking at, the opposite of the opposite is not always what you think it is. Okay, fix it, because I thought maybe it was wrong, so yeah. we're good. So instead of doing, it's the white that's gonna be the Okay, whatever you need. Gorgeous block. It takes a team, it takes a village. This is why you quilt with friends. This is why we're in a team, exactly. There we go, now it has that kind of. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There, there, that there it is. better sense. There we go. <laughs> okay, so this is shape five in the um, scrappy, and then shape five for the top, all right? And that's about how many pieces I do. I start with three and then I do two at a time. So now what I can do is come right here and I'll just sew these, these together and I'll show you how we add it. Because this is such a great chain piecing block. It is, yeah. it for is. For the win, okay? Win, 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 okay. Pam, how are you doing over there, Erica? I'm good, now I marked my top row with a little binding clip when She's before I started so sewing <laughs> because A, I would have used a pin, but I might have poked myself. But I wanted to know which, where it went. I also needed to know for my pressing. So this one, I need to press that way towards the clip. Okay. So I'm now moving on to pressing. Okay, so this is strip number four. We're always just pressing away, okay? And now I can add the bottom of four and then five and so forth. Mm -hmm. So this is a super, this is the only way you should ever sew this block together because then you can just chain piece. You don't have to well, um, stop. But here's the thing. Erica and I both agree that we do two blocks at a time and we finish those two blocks because if you have to stop in the middle, you have to think about what you're doing next. That's right. Now, a lot of you chose to do like all the piece ones together. Yes, and that's good and too. And that works too. Yes. It's whatever, you know what? No quilt police. No. <laughs> so it's whatever's gonna make your, your heart happy. Your, yes. Your little quilting heart happy. Exactly. And whatever makes sense to you. It's the same with the organization. We saw some great, you had mentioned um, silverware. Yeah, little organizers. From the dollar store. And somebody had picked up one on Marketplace and it worked fabulously. See? And a lot of times the wooden ones that you get expand so you can ah yeah all right so erica tell me this trick you did the top with a bindy clip i did i stuck on the okay. top corner of the bind top top left top left i just stuck a bindy clip on okay, the well i'm going to put a pin in here so I okay know. well that'll work too like oh, i said yeah. i just was afraid i'd poke myself okay well the chance of me poking myself pretty darn good <laughs> okay <laughs> so i'm going to do it here all right emily while i'm standing here any other Questions we got? Yes. So, um, what Joanne is curious again about which uh, fabric line you're using, Pam. I am using Island Batiks. Perfect. And um, Miss Kathy is wondering, so she says, I remember that Pam and Erica did not suggest using pre-cut jelly rolls for yes. the log cabin die. Are there any AccuQuilt patterns or AccuQuilt dies that are especially good for jelly rolls? Well, we have, the first one that comes to mind is called the Strip star sampler and that actually is all made with the two, two and, and a half, half inch strip die except for we, some squares we also have um, some rail fence kind of we have some rail fence patterns things. we've got some other there are several on there if you go through and and search well searching strip may may cause you a lot of angst but there are so many 
jelly roll patterns out there in the world too. There are, and a great way to see, um, a, another way to kind of check that out on an online is to go to the item page for the two and a half inch, two inch finish strip cutter. Oh yes, there'll be some at the bottom of the and, page. Yeah, on the bottom right of the page, you'll see it. And that Go Strip Star Sampler quilt pattern is right on there as well, so. And Erica know on a couple of things. That's great. a real know, showstopper. That's a great one. That's I a like great a one. We've had a lot of our quilt shops use that yeah. for classes. Yeah. Okay, so look here, I'm, I'm having to stop here in the middle. So I'm just gonna pin these two, these four pieces of fabric to my, um, to my block so I know that this is the next one I need to do. Okay. okay. Well, I wanna sew a couple of my rows together, so I'm about ready to do that. I'm about gonna, ready to sew? Yeah, I'm gonna have okay. to. And are, are one of you pressing right now still? Erica I am. is pressing. Do you so want to talk pa about it? Patty has a question um, yes. about when it comes to pressing, you know, we're talking about pressing them away. Can you kind of clarify what uh, pressing away, what you are pressing away from? Oh, yes. So I can show you here. Well, it depends on whether you're, when she's pressing away, that's on her blocks. This is on my block. So I'm pressing to the outside. I'm pressing those strips away from the center, ah, okay? There you so go. look, I just sewed this new log. I'm gonna just press this away from the center, okay? Um, I, it's gonna help you with the bulk, um, which is really what you wanna get rid of because otherwise it gets so bulky. Yes. All right, Erica, are you good? I'm good, I'm good. So this one, this row, and yes, my shoes are off. Oh, I've never been more proud. I know. Okay, and when Erica's up there, I'm gonna tell you my secret when I'm done sewing these together, because I'm actually gonna put, you know how I'm a friend of sticky notes. Yes. I'm actually going to put what row it is. Oh. Because. Well, you've got more rows than I, I, have I do. I so many more rows. Mm -hmm. And I want the pattern to um, be there. Also, when Erica and I are sewing these blocks together, for sure we are back stitching. Right. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And when I sewed my top and bottom rows, there we go, I back stitched as well. When I sewed my box together. Yeah. On, for the top and bottom rows. Okay. I didn't for the middles because I knew right, I was gonna jump right up and, yep. and go like this. Yeah. And go, yep, we're good and then take them down to sew them. That's great. Yeah. So I think that that's important, at least if you're making bigger than what Erica is doing, for sure, you wanna keep track of which row is which. Oh, absolutely. And it's gonna create that secondary design. And we have, a, and speaking of patterns, um, we have a viewer who's wondering if we have a French braid table runner pattern. I'm hoping no, you I've do. I've never in my life heard of a French braid um, table I runner. I think that that's gonna be. Oh. We, it looks like we found, I have a, we have a wall hanging pattern for the we French do. braid. I feel we do and that that could probably be adapted pretty easily. Yeah. I think it's using maybe, you could, gosh, I think you could use the half hexagon maybe. Yeah, Are and just making more to do rows? a braid. Yeah, and the 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 French braid stars wall hanging pattern. All it calls for is the is the eight inch cube. So. If you had a Ready, Set, Go or are in the market for a cutter um, with that eight inch cube, the Ready, Set, Go would be a perfect fit for you. Um, Cause then, yeah, you could totally adapt that French braid to, did to I a table runner, that'd be easy. Yeah. Oh, I did, good. Okay, so I'm going, I am sewing my top two rows together. Do I leave you room, Pam? No, you're fine. I just want to make sure All right, before Pam. I sew this row number one together that Emily's going to tell me that I have the go. Right, that we're right. that we're good to go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Emily so has we, to like stand on her head to. I know. I have to like re. Yeah. Okay. So we've got our nice two diagonals down here going. Yep. Towards the outside. So that looks good. And then in the middle we'll have the white triangle that'll be underneath our colored triangle. See so yeah, how I at least that's what I'm calling that little min, mini. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that true? That's right. So it'll have a yeah the white will be reflected against the the colors. Okay. Row. So yeah. Are we good? Yep. Okay. So I'm doing 24 rows. So for sure. Oh, no, you're doing six rows. Six rows. 24 box. There we go. Hi Chihuahua. I was gonna 24 say. 24 <laughs> rows. 24 rows. 
Okay, so look how I've sewn these together. Look at that. Okay. So now I've sewn these two blocks together, so now I'm gonna create this one row. And I'm not gonna press until I've sewn all my rows together. Right, right, yeah. Right, okay, so now I know to sew these two together. Perfect. Okay, all right, Emily, as I'm sewing, do we have questions? Um, we do, um, let's see, oh, um, yes, Sheila's wondering, is pressing open a good idea? Um, you certainly can. I'm gonna tell you pressing it open is gonna take so much more time. But yes, you can, you can press whatever way your little heart desires. Our, our, our dear Lynn Gibney presses everything open always. Everything. Mm -hmm. she's, she did morning star. She's and, more patient than Pam and I are. <laughs> well, she makes significantly less quilts than we do in a year. <laughs> And then, um, ooh, this is kind of a fun, okay, so um, Pamela is wondering about cutting bias strips for binding. I yes. was actually, we did a show about this, Pam, what yes. was it, about a month ago, probably? On uh, yeah, it's been a while. You can go to YouTube and search AccuQuilt Bias Binding. Yep. And it will pull up those videos. But yeah, we showed you how to cut bias binding and how to miter your corners and yep, how to how to all do things all, all things, things binding yes yeah. now quilters some of you use bias binding every single time that you create a project right um, eric and i only do bias binding on curves or or if we want the fabric to look fancy yeah so like if it's striped fabric right or a plaid or plaid now fabric designers have gotten i mean let's face it Fancy. They're fancy too. So they figured out that we like that look. So what they're starting to do is to print those plaids and stripes on the bias so we don't have to cut bias binding. But there are also quilters who always cut bias binding because that bias is actually gonna give you the strongest weave. It it's is. gonna give you your strongest edge that your quilt can have. It is. So there are those purists out there who will bind everything. Madeline, yep. I'm thinking of you. Yes. With bias binding. All right, and should we talk about our clappers? <gasps> we should. Yes, they're back clapper. in stock. Oh, so we yes. Have an eight inch clapper and a 12 inch clapper. And what happens is when you sew, P oh, here, I'll show you. <laughs> but wait, we'll sing it. <laughs> but wait, we'll sing it. Um, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Okay. So a clapper is actually gonna just help you get your seams flat. Mm -hmm. And so for this one, say I've pressed all my other seams, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take this, and Erica, do you, do you iron yours down first and then put a clapper on it? Yes. Okay, you ready? So I gave it a little press. And then Yay, you can clapper. just leave this on here and it's really gonna help your seam stay flat. Yeah. And I feel like in all the blocks you wanna lay flat, a log cabin block is what you want. Yes. We have them in two sizes, eight inch and 12 inch. And Erica uses different ones for different things, you know, smaller blocks. Right, so smaller ones, if you have a smaller one than this, mine at home is the 12 inch and I love it. I just. I want more um, because then you've got, you can press and flatten and leave it sitting there while you press something else. Yes. And if you're doing units of your blocks, then, you know, the eight inch maybe is good. If you just are gonna get one for sure, get the 12 inch. Mm -hmm. Right. It, and their local Mike makes them for us. Yes, he is the nicest man. Super nice. He came last week and delivered a whole bunch of them because we were out of stock, but now we are in stock. Woohoo. So while you're getting wool pressing mats and little irons, get you a little clapper. They say AccuQuilt on them. Now, some, some quilters use steam. Pam and I do not. We do not use so steam. So this, the clapper works whether or not you use steam. Right. And I don't use steam ever on my wool mat because then it gets wet and smells funny. Well, it does smell like wet dog, but it, it works. You get used it to does. it. But the other thing is that the steam will go through that mat. And so that'll warp. If you've got it sitting on your nice double cutting mat like we have here, 
it would warp my mat, my rotary cutting mat underneath, and I don't want that. That's yeah. That's expensive to. So while I sew in the seams, look how flat that got. I, I, I love I just our googled because I'm very curious where the name clapper comes from. Watch. And Lamb and Loom fabric says that done. Yeah, when you when you do that on the surface. It makes the clap sound, exactly. Rock is never gonna let me touch a clapper <laughs> again. <laughs> it was my one time to Don't make worry. a noise. <laughs> those kind so, of sounds like But they, uh... they come to quilting from the garment, from garment making. Yeah, they do. That's pretty cool. That is really, really cool. Um, from Pat, Taylor's. Pat is curious how much, how much time you both have vested in this quilt. Oh, yeah. that we have vested in this quilt? Yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> I, let's think about this for a hot minute. I cut all my fabric in about an hour. Yeah, I, if, that, if that, if well, yeah, that. Well, that allowed say, me to cut them and put them in and organize. Yeah, them. cut right. and organized in, an hour, yeah. in less than an hour, I'm yeah. gonna say. And then it takes me, because uh, I sewed two this morning, 40 minutes to sew two blocks. Okay, so that's pretty darn so, good. So what's 40 minutes times? Because you 12. did 12 blocks, right? Blocks, yeah. And Emily, here's, I messed up here. 480 minutes. Divided by 60. 480 divided by 60, so we're eight hours even. There you go. Well, there you go, doing math. Okay, Emily, I messed this up, so you gotta tell me to make sure I did this right. Okay. This is the second row. Wait, do you want me to get that out of no, your no, way? No, Emily can do it. She's... No, because I'm ready to sew my two halves together. I just want to make sure before I sew right. these together. Oh, Erica, you're all ready to go. Okay. So I know, she's, yeah. oh, I love those. Yep, so it'll be the... Is this right? So we have our center white triangle. Yeah. Which will be facing downwards. It's this block I want to know. The far right. That one is going to rotate. So the white will be on the bottom left. Really? So then your other one's wrong too, I bet. No, is this wrong? Bottom right for the white. Yep, so they were both flipped. Did we sew those already? Yeah. Oh, darn. Yeah. What, is oh, that no. true? Well, I'm looking. <laughs> This is the second row. I wish I could well, just here, up this a, one. There's is an it, easy way to do that. Can we just take the one down behind you? Because there's no diagonal um, kind of block yeah. in the second row. This is yeah. real life, quilters. This is real life. <laughs> this is real life. So see where I'm looking here? So it doesn't have, it doesn't have like this in it. It's just okay, the. Okay, so this is the second row. This right. is the top. Put that over there. Put that over there. Is that right? All right. Yeah. Yeah? No, no, it's not. No, this one needs to be flipped. Okay, so will one. this fit here? <laughs> no, well, flip it again. yeah, because if we flip it again. Do, 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 no, do. we're not. No, we're not. That's, That's right, because it doesn't so create the diagonal. It, on, on, okay. See the, yeah. Quilters, I think they're making this harder than it needs to be. I'm just so saying. Well, I know, and we're going upside down and okay. backwards. <laughs> so those are the two. Take so the quilt down, girls. Why are you here. being so stubborn no, no, no. about right, doing this it, the thought. easy no, way? This is the, just follow the second row. Just follow the second row. Okay. Heavens. Let's do it this way. Is that it? That's the one. Okay. So those two sides will go together. Perfect okay. and schlag. Okay. Okay, now Sorry we're about doing that. Well. Are you Our all friends? done? Yeah, how are you doing? I am sewing my top two rows and my bottom two rows together. Oh my so, goodness, right, Erica. So, Emily, do we have questions while I'm... Yes. We sure do. Oh, <laughs> we, so... We have questions. Do our viewers have yes. questions? <laughs> <laughs> I know they were kind of... Um, Penn, uh, Mac was kind of wondering why we were, you know, going from the, the, the bottom up. And the reason for that is because the quilt behind me is actually folded in half. It's actually huge. It's it's gigantic. So, so nice kind block of, folded it in half from us. Yep. First. So we're going from the bottom up. So that's why we're kind of yeah. doing the whole upside down thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. Turn this off. Well, I could have actually just started from the bottom there and worked my way up. You could have. Yeah. It was much more fun to just make it more difficult <laughs> than possible. 
Just saying. <laughs> exactly. All right, so what are the questions people are asking? Because I'm pulling seams out. Let's see. Okay, folks. Um, I think I did this last week. So, okay, so um, Judith is wondering, so how, bi how big will your finished quilt be then, Pam? So if you're doing... How many block? How many 12-inch blocks did you do? Uh, I'm doing 24 12-inch blocks, so I'm doing row uh, four across, six down. Four but across. I'm also adding a wide, a two and a half inch border, and a six and a half inch border. So oh. a two and a six, just like that one is. See? Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, a one and a six. Yep. Okay. Yep. So that's going to so be. Do that math, Emily. Oh my goodness. Okay, bigger. So you're you've got 12 times six. 12 times six. Is plus, so 72 plus one and six, mm -hmm. one and six or one and what, what one size borders? One, one and six, six so that's seven on each seven. end. So that's 14. So that's 79. Okay, and then do four and times 12 is 48 plus 48. That. And then 48 plus seven. I feel like Kenyon has already done it in his head. Have you Kenyon? 55 by 79. Yeah. That's big, that's gonna be a nice size. It'll be quote. beautiful. Oh, can't well, wait. the reason I made it bigger was because I had 25 or 24 half yard cuts of batiks. Right. So I didn't have to buy, other than the background fabric, I didn't have to buy any fabric. And I thought, well, I'm going to use that and my border, the small border will be solid, Ooh. but the outer border is going to be scrappy with the rest of my fabric from my half yard cuts. Oh, that's oh, good. Cute. Right? That would be fun. All right, so, so that's next, how big it's going to be. Next yeah. week's show, Pam's going to be in in uh, Paducah. Yes, I won't be here. So she Emily won't be and here. So Emily and I'll be running the show, and we're going to talk about backing. I'm planning on piecing together my extra fabric for my backing. So we'll see how that's going to work for me. We're also going to be putting those borders on. Yes. Ooh. And then we'll talk about quilting. Yes. And finishing. All of the yes. good things. So next week is going to be great. And listen, if you're like me and you haven't finished all your blocks yet, it's okay. That's right. It's, it's okay. Just work on it. It's yeah. not a race. It is not. Mm -hmm. I actually made some ahead knowing that I was going to be in Paducah. So, but don't worry about it. If you haven't finished all your blocks, you can still watch the, the new shows. That's right. And then go back and watch the old shows. Right. All right. Exactly. Are we were... Yep. Do we have another question, Em? Um, we do. So um, we, a viewer is asking, can we use jelly rolls and put them through the two and a half inch strip die to make sure they're perfectly cut? Um, I'm going to tell you, I never do that. Here's why. They cut all of those strips in the jelly roll the same size, right. whether it's off a bit yeah. or on a bit or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, you could. You could, but I feel like it's just a little bit of a... I don't feel um, like you need to. No, I don't feel like you need to either. Now, if you wanted to use... If you want to use a jelly roll and have... You will have wider... You will either waste... Oh, an inch and a half. An inch, and a, an inch off of each strip, mm -hmm. which is a waste because we love our fabric, right. or you will... Um, make it wide and chunky. And you can do that, but that's gonna change all your measurements. Right, right. and it's gonna change your fabric requirement. You, okay, what are you doing? I'm gonna go see Emily. Okay. <laughs> all right, well this is my center all here. sewn together. So I'm okay. gonna try second and get row. it to second row. Here we go. Okay. Make sure that stick up here. We've got our little... I was trying to put it up higher so you could go. see it. Okay. All right, and that's So correct. I haven't pressed perfect. it yet. Yep, perfect. But here, this one is is my way. top center. Okay. And this is now, part of the f so whole okay. fun of this quilt along has like been that. seeing what everybody else is doing. So we really hope yes. that you'll go ahead and ah. join the AQS Quilting Project Parade yes. Facebook yes. group so and good. post your pictures yeah. there of your fabric choices, of your blocks, okay. of your top layout, all the way along. And be sure you always add hashtag AQSOs to your comments about the picture because that way we can all see what everybody is posting. All right, how are you coming, girls? We're, 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 we're just it. happy. We're just, yep, we're just making sure that okay. everything's coming together, right? Because, oh my gosh, I don't, my mouth. I don't okay. want to put Pam through what I put myself through with my Ohio Star quilt. I sewed two entire rows 
absolutely backwards and that is no fun to rip. Well, that's no <laughs> fun at all. All, all right. right. Well, you sew. Yes, well, I'm gonna talk. Okay. Did you already talk? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, then never mind. So um, Eric and I are gonna be popping onto the page to post Oh, yes, pictures. I was, yep. Yep, to see what everyone's up to and answer your questions. And you'll see us as AccuQuilt Cutting Expert Pam Heller and AccuQuilt Erica. That's right. I'll be posting pictures on Instagram uh, also. I use Erica LMB and Pam will be there as AccuQuilt underscore Pam underscore Heller. Now be sure you use that hashtag AQSOs on all your social media, whether it's Instagram, yep. whatever. Because we can search by that hashtag. Right. And, and you can, can too. See all you the stuff. You can too. So if you go on to Instagram, you can search by that hashtag AQSOs and then see all the different projects that people have posted. Yeah. Okay. All right. So much inspiration. Keep going. It's I'm going to sew this last She's two sewing. rows. Emily, hit yeah. us with some questions here. Yeah, I'm let's get sewing some my questions. last two rows. Um, so Joanne is wondering, Pam, did you do anything to set the colors on your batiks before? Um, sewing? You know, so that's a great question. Um, last year, um, I went to San Diego. Mm -hmm. And I went to see our friends at Island Batiks, uh -huh. and I asked them that question. I said, hey, you know, with Batiks, you know, do I need to set them? Do I need to wash them? And they said no, because actually in the process of creating Batiks, which basically they lay wax down and do all the things. Right. Yeah. Um, they use acid, and it washes it out wow. kind of thing. So I never do because... Island Boutique did all the hard work for me. Well, thanks, Island Boutique. Yeah. We'd My like goodness. to thank them. Love that. So, um, and oh. <laughs> for our, they did not give me new fabric, by the way. <laughs> I said, look at all this beautiful fabric. And they said, yes, we send it to you for your shows. So sometimes <laughs> we give away Island Boutique fabrics, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. We sure do. We do. They are great. What line. else? Do we have more questions, Emily? The last question I have is it, Megan's wondering what sewing chairs you are using. They. Oh. Are... <laughs> okay, well, we'll tell you this funny story. These, the <laughs> sewing chairs that we normally use at our sewing tables are lower, and even tall Miss Pam. Yes. Felt like she was sewing up at her a little like, kid. nose level. So the 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 gents here in the studio very kindly went and got desk chairs, yes, office desk go chairs up and down. Right. for us to use. And actually, I use a chair, I use an office desk chair I do as well. at home as well. And I, I like it because I like to sit up high so that I'm not sewing up. I like to, you know, yes. be tilted down. Right. And so that's what I have. And I like these chairs because they have arms on yeah, them. Yeah, these are these uh, are these actually are, great chairs that yeah, we have here in our chairs. office. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah. but there are some great. If you go to your sewing machine dealer, yes. they have some fabulous chairs with super cute with fabric. super cute fabric. They open up. You can put your projects in them. But they also have ones that'll go up and down, and they'll go even higher than your your right. standard desk chair, and they're right. really cushy and comfortable. Yeah, yeah. So you sew all the time, right? You should totally be thing. comfortable. Here's the thing. Exactly. You spend half your time cutting, right? So we happen to think that you don't, we'd rather spend our time sewing. So we use the Acu right. Quilt. Right. You spend all that time sewing. You deserve to be comfortable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Agreed. So make life easy. Get your Acu Quilt and a comfortable chair. There you go. All right, Miss Emily, do you have other questions? I think we've about just covered it. I think we did. A, this is a fun show. This is so fun because we're really excited to see your rose sewn it's together. It's really fun right. to see it put together. I know, because look at how fun it is with Eric, as you can see that secondary pattern. And it looks so different. So are you seeing the secondary pattern? Can everybody see that? It's like a sawtooth star. Yeah. Should I point it out? Yes, you, you should. Get up okay. and talk. All right. And while she's doing that, hey, don't forget to check out the AccuQuilt blog. The lovely Erica will have a post each Wednesday during the Quilt Along to go over the details of the day's event. And be sure to sign up so you'll be notified when the blog goes live. So there's that sawtooth star. There's that sawtooth star. So think about this if it was just pieced and it wasn't all the logs. Mm -hmm. This would be like a flying geese unit, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Look at that. That's where that star comes yeah. from. Yeah, look at how fun that is. Yeah. Now be sure to look up today's blog because I did some, I posted some alternate log cabin layouts because there's a lot you can do with log cabin blocks even besides this project. So right. if you're like Pam and I and you've absolutely fallen in love with sewing these blocks and it's so easy to cut them with the die. So easy. Yeah. That you're you're planning other log cabin projects so that you can keep going. Check out the blog because I've got several different layout options in there and some of them with the all log cabin blocks, some of them with other blocks. Right. Oh wow. And the great thing about log cabin you can make it scrappy, you can make it two colors. It's just there's so many options. So when you were doing that, Erica, did you buy, were you using EQ8 by chance? I was using EQ8. I love EQ8. If you we haven't have that used EQ8, it's really fun. It is a design software, not to be confused with Go Quilt. Go Quilt on our website is a free design tool for recoloring yes. patterns. EQ8 is an actual design software. We do sell it on our website. We do. All right, AQS is going to be updating their blog post as well, and they've added those alternate log cabin layouts to their blog post as well. I saw that earlier today. Yep. All right, quilters, before we end part three of our quilt along for the ghost scrappy star log cabin, we should announce the winner of today's giveaway. Let's do that, oh, Erica. That's a good idea. Ooh. The lucky winner of $100 in AccuQuilt reward points is, drum roll please, Zelda J from Maybank, Texas. Congratulations, Congratulations Zelda. Well, if it's not Maybank and if it's Mabank, yeah, we, we don't know. I apologize. Okay. Let us know. All right, quilters, and don't forget, we have tons of special deals for you available on our website. That's right. To get your order in, open a new tab on your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party. You'll see the current offers and you can place your order. All right, Emily, any last questions before we wrap up today's party? We have covered it all. I think yeah. everybody was really enjoying yeah. this show. Fantastic. All right. It's time for us to get ready for our next show. I'm, I have a few more blocks still to sew, but we hope that today's event was just what you needed to inspire you to sew rows together for the Go Scrappy Star Log Cabin. Don't forget to post them on social media. Use hashtag AQSews. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. To learn more about your quilting craft, be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can check out the events page on the AccuQuilt website for more details on upcoming shows. And if you're looking for even more inspiration, visit our blog for exclusive tutorials filled with tips and tricks. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Check out our events page to see all of our upcoming events. Enter your email to sign up for notifications for all of our events. Plus, signing up means you're entered to win a door prize that we'll give away during the show. So you'll want to join us to see if you've won. Tune in every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for launch parties and trunk shows. These events are filled with tips, tricks, and inspiration. Next time, we'll be talking about sustainable quilting. And be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have tons of fun. Next week, I will be in Paducah, so the lovely Erica will be showing you how to finish your quilt top. And if you're going... And speaking of Paducah, if you're going to Paducah, AccuQuilt is hosting the lounge. Be sure to stop by and say hello.